Hey guys, I'm back. So today I'm going to be talking about how the Atlas and CMS combined results for the whole of the 2011 Proton-Proton uh, run have excluded the Higgs boson between, let me get the exact values, um, 141 giga electron volts and 476 giga electron volts. That means that from 141 to 476, there is a 95 percent confidence level that the Higgs boson does not exist at those masses, meaning that the boson is somewhere in here. If we enlarge this graph, we can see that between here and here, this has been excluded by all the LHC, all this orange. At the end of the mass range, we have a bit of part this isn't, but indirect measurements favor here, so we're going to... Atlas is going to, Atlas and CMS both, because uh, these are combined results from Atlas and CMS, are going to be looking at the lower end of the range. The LEP excluded it right here, Tevatron excluded it here and here, so really this is all we have left to work with. So it's excluded between, like I said, what before 141 and 4, 4, 141 and 467, uh, let's see if I can remember that, 76, okay. Anyway. Um, the reason you know is because one, they say it, and two, whenever this dotted line dips below this solid line on one here, that means that the Higgs has 95% um, confidence level doesn't exist at that mass. So you can see right here when it goes over, it's excluded, and right here when it goes over, it's excluded. And since neither of these is the, since neither of these, even though it's above here, neither this data isn't the, um, it's not the uh, Tevatron data. So you know. Anyways, what this graph really means is this this solid line here is their actual beta. This dotted line here is what they would expect if the Higgs boson didn't exist. And then this is expected at, this is uh, what we'd expect if the Higgs boson didn't exist with a one sigma probability. And the yellow is what we'd expect if uh, for the Higgs to not exist at a two sigma probability. So as we can see, the only time it gets about, gets over the Higgs not existing at two sigma, meaning there's a uh, like a three sigma the Higgs doesn't exist or something like that. I don't know. Is right here. So this is somewhere they're going to look at very closely. This is the spike that um, LEP and Tevatron have seen before, and it's a bit over here as well. So obviously we're going to be focusing on this mass range. But like I said, the main the main thing has been ruled out for this whole whole mass range deal. It's gone. So we're going to focus on this right here. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really got much to say. Uh, they excluded the Higgs boson. We're going to be looking for it in the lower end. It's ex excluded because the actual data dips below the line. And whenever the data goes above the uh, two sigma level of the Higgs not existing, what they would expect, then that's really a cause to see if the Higgs exist, unless it's below this solid line. So right there, there's one. And right there, there's one. So... I think it's most favored here because we've seen spikes on other machines uh, right here. So, thanks for watching and bye. Ugh.